After many months of construction with contractors, subcontractors, and construction equipment moving about on the site, I came to survey the progress of the job at the end of the day this past Thursday. Standing on the first base stair platform over there and looking out across the field, a chill came over me. For the first time, there were baseball players, coaches, and baseball equipment moving about on this site. I was very moved to see this ballpark come to life. On behalf of all of us who have watched this park develop from an image in our minds to what we see here before us today, I'm proud to present to the college the key to Plumeri Park. It's a pleasure to accept this key on behalf of the Board of Visitors. We take great pride in the college, an institution committed to educating the body as well as the mind. Plumeri Park is an excellent example of William & Mary's determination to offer the best to its students, its faculty, staff, and local community. Because this facility is a significant addition to athletics, it seems appropriate to now pass this key to Terry Driscoll, Director of Athletics at the college. Terry? I was asked today to speak briefly about the impact of the Plumeri Park to our baseball program. The impact began at homecoming in 1997, when Joe Plumeri announced his intention to build this park as a gift from his family to the College of William and Mary. It was a culmination of a dream that Joe had fashioned with former athletic director John Randolph, and that dream came alive that night. The immediate impact was that William and Mary baseball finally had a home of its own. And not just a home, a state-of-the-art facility, arguably one of the finest in the country of its size. But most importantly, this park is, is a vehicle. It's a vehicle for the passion and commitment that Joe Plumeri has for his family, for his college, and for life. And really, it's my hope, really my wish, that anyone who plays in this park or any fan who watches a game in this park may be inspired by that passion and commitment that the park embodies. Joe, thank you very much. Before I turn this lectern over to Joe, I understand that Coach Farr and the captains of the team would like to make a presentation to him on behalf of the entire team. Coach Farr? Mr. Plumeri, on behalf of the team, we'd like to present you this gift as a small token of our appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. Don't you think this is a beautiful ballpark? I have a couple of things that I'd, I'd like to share with you, if I may. Um, th this is much more to me and my family uh, than a baseball field. Uh, this is a tribute to a whole bunch of things in my life and is symbolic of so much more. The reason this is not called Joe Plumeri Park or Joe Plumeri anything is because I learned a long time ago that no man is an island and things that are of good fortune to you don't happen just because of you. They happen because you have a lot of support they happen because there's lots of love and there's lots of direction that you get in your life. This is more than just Joe Plumeri. This is called Plumeri Park because of my family. Standing behind me 
is my mother and my wife, the two ladies uh, in my life who have meant the most to me and have given me the most support. I thank them from the bottom of my heart for everything that you have done. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for the two of you. My only regret, and you'll have to forgive me, I'm an emotional person. My only regret is my father is not here today. I commend you all to look at the two plaques that adorn the entrance of this stadium. One to my father, and if you read the plaque, you'll understand what I mean, and the other to the rest of my family. You see, this ballpark is more than just baseball. What my father taught me was that anything's possible if you dream and you have passion. Nobody had more passion and was a greater role model than my father. My father taught me that nobody can outbrain you, nobody can outwork you. What they can do is outheart you. And if you don't have heart, you don't have passion, and you don't want it more than the other guy, then you're going to lose. This stadium is all about that. It's all about the fabric that baseball is all about. You can't have a society in America today unless you have baseball. Who doesn't ever use the term, I hit it out of the park, when talking about business or the cash room? Who's never used the term, I'm down to the last out, that's the bottom of the ninth inning, and I only got one strike left? Baseball is more than baseball. It's Americana. It's what we live through every day. It's a character and a personality of a nation. Enjoy this ballpark. Enjoy the dream that made it come true. Thanks, everybody. God bless you. Oh,